Hey everybody, happy Monday and welcome to another edition of The Daily here with Greg Lalas. I'm Nick Fershaw, the biggest headline on this Monday, a potential brand new head coach for the New York Red Bulls, Gary McAllister, a former Scottish international and a guy uh, people familiar with the EPL might know back from the 90s. Now this isn't confirmed by the club, it's just a report as of Monday morning, but Gary McAllister, another potential Scott joining MLS and not an American coach for the New York Red Bulls. Yeah, the report came out and his name's been sort of whispered around the Red Bulls for a while, but I have to say, hey, Red Bulls, not an American coach, a guy who doesn't know MLS, another person who doesn't know MLS. I mean, right now, if you look at the technical brass at the Red Bulls, they have very little to no experience with MLS. We've seen it before where coaches come in that don't really get MLS and they struggle here. This is a very different league from around the world. That's not to say that Gary McAllister couldn't have success and, tr and prove us all wrong. You know, Hans Bakke actually did okay yeah. Yeah. when you think about it. But again, you, you have to start to wonder about some of the decisions that are being made. Now, as we said, it's unconfirmed. So maybe this is all just a ruse and they're gonna find somebody mm -hmm. else that will come in. Maybe there's an assistant they have lined up for this, uh, whoever the coach is, and that person will have all this MLS success. They do have Mike Petke, he's an assistant coach there, but that's about it. But he right? doesn't have the experience no. really, you know, for running a team and running a, a worrying about the salary cap yeah. and running, worrying about the draft and all of that kind of stuff. No, they definitely, uh, they don't have a lot of MLS experience guys in that front office. Gary McAllister, 47 years old, played with Leeds, the former mm -hmm. assistant manager with Aston Villa and uh, managed Coventry City uh, a few years back. But again, it's still a report for now. We'll see if the New York Red Bulls get a brand new head coach in the coming days. Well, big news for the Portland Timbers. It's come out that they are actively chasing Mix Discrew, the U.S. international, one of the guys from that U.S. Olympic team over the summer. Mix Discrew is a guy that I think a lot of people are very excited about, a young playmaker in the U.S. pool. They haven't seen a lot of him because he's been plying his trade in Norway. So tell me why, why is so, everybody so excited about Mix Discrew? Why is he the answer for the Portland Timbers next year? Well, I think what everybody loves about it is that when they have seen him, They've seen flashes of brilliance. They haven't seen enough of him when he's at Rosenborg, although they have read about it. So yeah. you read about these things about how Mix went 90 minutes for Rosenborg, that he did really well, got an assist, that mm -hmm. kind of thing. And then when he shows up for the national team, he has these little flashes here and there. However, I agree with you. We haven't seen him consistently over time succeed, show that creativity he supposedly has. But I think the biggest thing here is that he's got a great personality. Every time you talk to him, every time you see an interview with him, he's got a personality, he's got lifestyle stuff, he's got culture, he's got all this stuff that you really want in a team. Uh, we had some uh, interesting quotes from his dad, Paul, actually who spoke <laughs> Interesting uh, one word. Yeah, <laughs> exclusively with our own Greg Seltzer, said that he, he has been actively pursued and that he likes Caleb Porter a lot. Again, Caleb yeah. Porter was the coach of that Olympic team, so that's where they made their first connection. Mm -hmm. We got a lot of feedback on the site about Mixed Discrude. I know there's been some comments already about what he's going to bring to the team. This is a great comment that was from Rip City Boy on YouTube, actually, which said, this is great for the club and league because it adds quality competition. And we all know MLS needs right. it. Well, first of all, I don't know if MLS needs quality uh, competition. They already have that. That's not really the issue. But I agree with you that this would be great for the club. This is the kind of player that you can build the Portland Timbers around. I think Caleb Porter, another new coach in this league, he's looking for that player that you can build around. Well, let us know what you think about mixed disc group potentially coming to MLS and joining the Portland Timbers. You can put your comments in the box below. Last but not least, MLSsoccer.com's Best of 2012 opens on Monday, and one of the big categories is Moment of the Year. We voted on all the other things, our staff members, but Moment of the Year, that's up to the fans. Uh, there will be 20 different moments from 2012, from MLS games, U.S. Open Cup games, CONCACAF Champions League, and fans can vote. We're going to release it on December 31st. Now, one of those moments is Rafa Marquez in that incident with Shea Salinas. We've been talking about Rafa over the last week, and we've gotten a lot of feedback about his departure from the league. You can log on and vote if you want to say that that's the moment of the year, that <laughs> when he tackled Shea Salinas and, and kicked and him. And you probably should, because that it, is definitely one of the moments of the year. It's definitely one of the 20, but give us some of the feedback that we've gotten from the fans about Rafa's departure. Well, I think that uh, one of my favorite ones came from Justin. Uh, this was a comment on, on last week's daily on MLSsoccer.com, and he said, Rafa, you were never good enough for this league anyway. Which I think is a perfect way to put it is that all of a sudden it's like this guy who was a very quality player, but because of his attitude, because of his performance, all of a sudden he's just not good enough. Yeah. Which, you know what? In many ways he wasn't. Because you need to step up and perform everywhere you go and he wasn't able to do it. And instead, where does he go? It's all about the controversy. Yeah. He kicks Salinas. Don't forget that when he threw the ball mm -hmm. at uh, Landon Donovan at the end of the playoffs in 2011, all of that. 
Guy was pure controversy. Well, again, that is one of the 20 moments that you can vote for. Log on and vote. The uh, first round voting runs all week. It ends on Friday, and then we'll recount them again for the final four uh, for next week. We will announce the winner on New Year's Eve, December 31st. That does it for us. We'll get out of here, and we'll see you on The Daily tomorrow. I think this daily was my favorite moment. Yeah.